Kwa hivyo tukiombea familia hii tuombe taifa letu so that we don't slip back to dictatorship. Na leo tukiwa hapa we want to say this because we have heard Mheshimiwa William Ruto akisema we are witnessing the emergence of judicial tyranny. I would like to say this today as the last minister for justice. What is happening in Kenya today we are not witnessing the emergence of judicial tyranny. What we are witnessing is the emergence of a tyrant and a dictator called William Ruto. Tusipo fanya jambo kumuzuia watu wa miu, watu wa webuye. We are going back kwa siku za nyayo, siku za udiktator, na hii itaribu demokrasia yetu. Na tukiwa hapa we are saying no to dictatorship, and we are telling William Ruto hatuta kubali. We know that he was born in, the, in, in that port ya dictatorship ya nyayo ira. Tangu siku za YK92. Hatuta kubali turudishwe nyuma kwa siku za nyayo na siku za udiktator. Tuko pamoja watu wabwe. Sasa kukiwa na sheria mbaya, bunge metekwa nyayo. Ye ya meleta ushuru. Hakuna rais ameleta ushuru wa juu kama huu jamana ito zakayo. Kila kitu imepanda jamani. Ama, ama, na mwe no mulibula hii? Na mwe. Lewe uye, kama umia? Yeah. Na hiyo imeanza na ile sheria mbaya. The Finance Act 2023. Ndiyo imepandisha kila kitu. Ime double mafuta. VAT 8% had 16%. Ndiyo sababu ile fair. Waumbelezaji father amesema hapa. Kama ulikuwa na kuja na shilingi miyamoja. Sasa unapanda na shilingi miyambili. Kila kitu imepanda. Na ndiyo sababu nataka ni... Na lakini, rais, hivi juzi tumeona katika runika na kuingine, umeenda kutishia mahakama ku. Kwamba umepeana ilani kwa mahakama, ukatuita sisi ni wakora ambao nenda kotini. Na kuambia kwamba sisi siya wakora. Sisi ya pana wakora. Nenda kotini kwa sababu kotini, that's where we can find justice. That's where we are going to the court so that we can find justice. Any person who goes to court is not a criminal. Kwa hivyo kusema kwamba juzi ya mesema kwamba alipatua sword. Hile sword alisema siya kukata nini, siya kata. Alisema nyafana mna gani? Ati kukata wakona, siyo? Asa wewe ni mukola? Wewe ni mukola kweli? Wewe unaenda kutini mukola kweli? Sisi siya wakona, sisi ni walipa ushuru. Ambao yetu ni kwamba kwamba ni lazima uombe msama kwa wa Kenya. Kutuita wakona tafadhali omba nini? Kwa sababu. Mimi nimeenda kotini kwa sababu nimefinyo na maisha. Nimeenda kotini kwa sababu muongeza bei ya bidhaa. Lakini kunita mukora ni makosa makubwa sana. Kwa sababu huyu mtu anapo lipa ushuru wake, analipa ili apate services. Sio? Kwa hivyo juzi tumewona kusema kwamba na washitumu kwa sababu baadhi ya viongozi wa azimio. Wao ndi wamechukua jukumu ya kuenda kotini na kupinga maendeleo ambayo serikali inapanga kuleta. Ukiangalia mambo ambayo yuko kotini, ambayo yote imekuwa blocked, ni yale baadhi ya mambo ambayo angeleta maendeleo. Ukiangalia mambo ya National NHIF, saa hizi kesi ya inge kueko, tayari mraya wa Kenya angekuwa nafaidika. Kwa sababu, wametua hiyo pesa ya ambayo walikuwa nalipa kwenye, kwenye NHIF kutoka 500 to 300. But kwa sababu ya hizi internal court cases zile zinaendelea kuwekwa kila wakati, Unapata kwamba azimio imekua kizinka a big hindrance to this government in terms of development. Hakuna kitu inaendelea. Kila kitu serekali inajaribu kufanya inapelekwa kotini. It is bogged down such that as we speak, serekali haitina nafasi ya kufanya kazi yake. Ningependa tukuomba baadhi yao wa viongozi ambayo munapanga na hizo njama ya kuleta kila siku koti, 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 koti. Ndiyo maendeleo ya sionekane. Tufpate kuzuia hayo maneno kama viongozi na kama kiongozi kutoka bungoma nigependa kushitumu hayo. Asante sana.